Pandemic hair reaching maximum, maximum capacity, or maybe not, maybe, maybe there's some more room to go. <gasps> Welcome everybody to the Future Space Collective where we explore the world of products for imagination. Now today on the channel, we have a video projector where they claim you'll be able to cast your phone directly to the projector, all within a budget style projector that is relatively cheap for having all these features. So let's just check it out, let's jump right in, okay? And here it is now. It is the Vankyo Leisure 530W Wi-Fi projector, 1080p full HD projector, Wi-Fi connection. We're gonna figure out what exactly that means. Touch key design, so it's actually got touch buttons, which are interesting. Take a look there. Premium cinematic stereo. I don't know how good or how premium this cinematic stereo is gonna be from a little tiny projector, but we're gonna find out. So it's a very funky looking projector. It's very futuristic looking. So upon first open, that's what we're looking at. I'm trying to pull it out of the box like that. Who knows what's in there, we're gonna find out. All right, look at this. We got our power, we got our RCA jacks there, old school. Some screws, HDMI cable, and the remote. Take it out of the bag, the actual unit. Ooh. Wow. Definitely looks like it came out of the future. I, I'm digging these sort of touchscreen buttons, but the design's really neat. It's really well designed. You know, I like the white finish. Let's go through the inputs and outputs here. Okay, it's got a USB. It's got two HDMI inputs. It's got an AV jack for that RCA cable and a headphone jack. It also has what looks to be a tiny little SD card reader. Got this lens here. Let's pop open the lens, lens cap, focus ring here. Infrared receivers for the remote at the front and the back. And as well, it has a little leg to unscrew it. Of course, if you want to place it on a table like so. All the makings you would want and expect in a projector. Really nice, futuristic aesthetic. Very crisp, very clean looking with the white finish. Let's see what's in this. It comes with the screen as well. It's marked on here. This is a 100 inch screen that it is included with your projector. So you can mount the screen anywhere you want. Ooh, the fabric of it is quite nice. It's like this satiny fabric that is probably ideal. It has these holes you can mount up anywhere. And it, this is really great um, if you're going on a trip or something, or if you want the ability to really condense and pack down the screen. It's a pretty large size screen at 100 inches. So I really like that Vankyo includes the screen with this particular model. And you know, they say, hey, keep the bag. Oh look, it, it even came with some swabs, assumably to clean the lens maybe, that's like a microfiber cloth. So this is everything that comes with the projector right out of the box. Remote, cables, little swabs. The most satisfying parts of most items is always unpeeling. Get that shine on it. Oh, that's the most satisfying part, it really is. So this is all like a touch, all the buttons are touch. We'll see how well that fares. So this is what the remote looks like. Pretty simple design to control the projector. So let's test this thing out now to see what to make of it. So in a rare daytime look at the studio, I'm just getting set up to actually test the projector. I've gone ahead and I've actually purchased a pull down projector screen this time around to test this projector out. Even though this model, the Vankyo Leisure 530W, does come with a rather large screen in the box that's folded up that you can use. But anyhow, now that it's the nighttime, I can actually test the projector. And the first thing, the thing I've been most excited to test out was this projector's screen casting feature. Meaning you can directly cast your Apple iPhone or your Android device 
to the projector to project both the picture and sound from the phone. So I'm doing this here in this particular example. I've pulled up my camera and I'm casting directly from the phone, meaning I've connected to the projector's broadcasted Wi-Fi. I've connected to that network with my phone and this allows me to directly cast my phone to the projector. Alternatively, you can also screencast through your home Wi-Fi network by connecting the projector directly to your home network and by casting your screen through your home network by having your projector connected to it, it'll just help to improve efficiency, speed things up a little bit, and it means you can keep your phone connected to your home Wi-Fi network at all times. Overall, what did I think? I tested it quite a bit. I looked at some pictures, some photos, I, you know, browsed Instagram. It works pretty well. I was surprised at how well it did work and I didn't run into any issues. There was a teeny tiny bit of lag here and there, but you know, just for general viewing and general purposes to make a point, to show some pictures, throw some text up, the screencasting capabilities are quite good for that from my initial tests here. But if you are serious about your viewing experience and you want the absolute best result, I would still advise plugging in via HDMI to your source. I've run some landscape demo reels in the background to really test the image quality out on this thing, as well as on a few of my YouTube videos and such. And I gotta say, the image quality was actually quite good. I was quite impressed. It is a native 1080p projector, meaning it has some decent resolution on it. It will take 4K sources just fine. And the image quality I was super impressed with at this price point, given the projector also has a myriad of other strong features as well. Like previous projectors, you can mount this projector on a ceiling easily. It has standard M4 mounting screws with the screws included and you can easily pick up a mount on Amazon if you did want to mount this projector to your roof. The maximum projection distance and size is rated at 20.7 feet, resulting in a 200 inch image. And last thing I should mention is that it does have capability for updating the firmware in the future. So another thing that I was pleasantly surprised about with regards to this projector was the sound quality of the speakers. It was actually surprising. It felt a little bit of a step above. This is the ambient noise of the projector. And now with music. <laughs> So another thing I should reach on is the buttons, the touch buttons. You know, I've, I'm always kind of weary when a product comes with touch buttons, but they are super, super responsive on this projector and I was quite impressed. No troubles there. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll through the menus on screen now. If you're curious on looking at these menus deeper, just pause the video and you can read through them as I'm going through them quite quick. The projector also features electronic keystone calibration and this projector is cool because it features both vertical and horizontal keystone correction, all adjustable from within the menu. So the last thing I wanna reach on with regards to our projector here is its inbuilt media player. So you can connect either a USB drive or a USB stick, or you can actually use a micro SD card and it has a slot built in that you can put in the card and it can actually read the media off of these drives directly. I found that as long as your file was 1080p or lower, and the bitrate wasn't too high that it would play most formats and videos. I did run into a few compatibility issues on files that were higher bitrate or higher resolution. Also something to note that if you're using this USB or micro SD card method that if you have a file with surround sound audio, you're not gonna be able to hear any of this as it just doesn't know how to decode this. It, it, it's a great add-on to have, really. I mean, if you wanted to use this projector in some sort of creative way where you just wanted to have the files inside of the projector already to project, then it's actually quite a welcomed add-on. Just make sure the file formats are correct and native to what the projector can play and you'll be just fine. Okay, so that just about wraps us up for today's video. 
I have the projector running in the background. Right now we got the logo up on the screen. And in bringing everything together and my thoughts about the Vankyo Leisure 530W, I really think this is a great projector to have if you're gonna use it in a creative manner. And what I mean by that is if you're gonna use a projector, photography let's say, say you're doing some portraits um, and maybe you wanna integrate trying to use a projector. There's tons of people, tons of tutorials, tons of ideas out there on things you can shoot with a projector. This projector would be ideal for that because you can easily look at whatever you're looking at on your phone or find a video or find a photo to project on your phone and then quickly cast it. Boom, you're done. No need to hook up all, you know, laptops and all this extra stuff. You can really quickly, uh, you know, get different media to the projector through the Wi-Fi screencasting. And so for that reason alone, I think this projector is a thumbs up if you're gonna use it in creative ways. But otherwise, it is quite a good media projector um, in other capacities as well. Uh, the image quality is quite good for its price point and it's quite bright. You can still get away as you can see in the background here. I have a lot of lights in the studio yet the image is still bright enough to be seen. And lastly, if you wanted to use Netflix or Amazon Prime, an app, a streaming service, you can really easily grab a Roku or a Chromecast or an Amazon Fire Stick, something of that nature to basically give you the smart capabilities to be able to plug in through HDMI one of these devices. This one's already halfway there with the screencasting capabilities. Pair it with one of those streaming devices and you've got a full featured, full solution projector ready to go. It looks futuristic. It's got a lot of great features, firmware updatable. The sound on it is a little bit of a step above what you usually expect. Overall, I, I like this projector. I'm pleased with it and I'm giving it the thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed today's video. This is the Future Space Collective where we explore the world of products for imagination. Do me a favor, smash that like button for the algorithm. It takes just a fraction of a second to do and really helps the channel. And of course, we are a growing channel, so if you're into the idea of products for imagination, smash that subscribe button while you're at it. All right, I think that's just about it. Happy screencasting. <laughs>